This is Leanne in Adelaide and we're in the middle of winter and a lot of our plants are getting eaten. It's just too cold to go out and do gardening. I've got a, I've had a bad cold for quite a while. Um, but I've popped out here really quickly. Um, you can see the sort of damage I'm talking about there. And here we have the culprit. Um, these are quite common in Adelaide. I don't know if you uh, get them elsewhere in the world. Um, so in South Australia, we're um, down in the Mediterranean type climate and in winter you can, depending on the type of plants you've got, you can get real infestations of these caterpillars and unfortunately those caterpillars are not going to turn into a beautiful butterfly that you think well maybe it's worth a sacrifice on the plants. And I think because some of these plants are quite young, like for example that one was only as a tiny little cutting that's now developed into a bit of a plant, it, the leaves must still be relatively tender and juicy and tasty for those caterpillars. Now coming over here, this is what really surprised me when I was looking. Um, succulents, I wouldn't have thought that they would be that interested in succulents but you can see a few there. Now look at this one over here. Like that's like a caterpillar feeding frenzy party going on and again over here look at them, it's just ridiculous. And like, look how eaten up the plants are looking. More over here the horrible things and they, they have these little um, kind of bristly um, you, you've got to be careful about picking them up and touching them because they can actually cause quite a, some, for some people quite a um, amount of irritation as well. Um, my main concern is that this Monstera in, in Tuffa etc doesn't seem to have been um, affected by them. I don't know what this is going on here though that's not looking that great um, though that's not um, I thought that was might be a sign of rot but that's quite firm could just be cold weather the rest of it looks okay so I'm gonna just stay there so we've got caterpillars quite close but so far they seem to be okay now because they're attacking the succulents I'm happy to leave them there because I'd rather have these succulents sort of eaten out. I've got heaps of these and you just um, when they've finished their season um, I'll just cut back the affected foliage. Not there everywhere even underneath there I just saw another one. And you can see their, um, their poo for want of a better description. Their feces, whatever you want to call it. See those little black dots in there, that's a telltale sign that you've got a really bad infestation. So these plants will recover really well. I'm sure they will, like they're really, you know, what succulents are like, you can cut pieces off and so I think that's almost like better off all congregating there, having a good time. Um, now the only thing is I've got a philodendron I planted here only a, oh, roughly a month ago at the most, probably less. Now, uh, well that's one rotten leaf. Um, it all looks okay. So, well, apart from that, a few little telltale signs, but oh, there we go. There's a, one of the little buggers in there. I want to pick it up. So, put it onto the plant that I want it to, to attack because unless I get some really serious chemical stuff, I don't think I'm going to win this war. So there you go, if you're still alive, you can go and eat in there. So the rest of the plants seem to be okay. Um, they're just suffering the normal winter things that they do. having a quick look for those telltale signs. Now this damage here is um, I think it's one of those leaf cutter type insects where they kind of almost roll up the leaves etc. Oh, got some white things going on there. Hoping that's not 
any sort of mealy bug thing. That doesn't look like mealy bug though. Let's have a look. I've seen this before. It's like these little... Yeah, could be. Could be. I'm going to have to look into that. Um, not sure what that is. It doesn't look like a mealy bug. It's like a spidery webby thing. The plant looks reasonably healthy. See, the, see how that leaf's curled around? Um, how it got in there? Yeah. But then the actual plant itself looks pretty healthy, especially for winter when it's Adelaide and it's cold. Well, that's an older leaf. That's not looking that great. Oh dear. Okay, so you might have to look into what I need to do with that. I'd like to think I could do something natural, but I don't think if it is mealy bug, that's not going to work. Um, hibiscus here seems to be okay. And so does that one there. And you've got damage down here, which is probably the same related stuff. And I've moved, oh, there's another little critter there. Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Start through there. Um, these potato vines grow back really quickly, so they'll recover. Gosh, they're in there. Yuck. Okay. Don't keep an eye on that. Um, and if it gets really bad infestation, then I might have to do something about it. I don't like to use chemicals unless I really have to. Um, now, this plant's a little bit older. It doesn't seem to be suffering as much. It's been established for a while. All right, so that was a quick walkthrough. I just had to work out what was going on, why there were so many holes in some of the plants in the garden. And just a final check over here. But this is, um, I can't think of the uh, botanical name, it's a shrimp plant, and that's, um, yeah, going into a bit of a sleep over winter, but it doesn't seem to have been attacked by anything as such. I mean, I, mean, I cut, did cut it back a while back, but looking okay over here. This Ipomoea looks okay few holes here and there but nothing major. All right well I'm fairly happy that um, it's sort of contained. Keep an eye on it and uh, we'll pop out again in another week after we've had some rain. Rain might perhaps scare them off a bit um, or reduce the numbers and we'll just see how we're going then. All right so that's a quick update from Leanne in Adelaide. Hope you're enjoying your gardening wherever you are in the world. I love um, hearing comments from you, questions. And, and thank you very much for the people that um, made a comment either privately or um, on uh, directly to me um, and on YouTube about um, my last update, which was the update of all the garden projects and particularly in relation to you know, how I was upset about our lovebird dying. So. I really appreciate those really kind comments that you made. All right, goodbye from me. I've got to go back inside and I'm getting cold. Goodbye.